here's the here's the letter. Uh, dear dear Harriet, it's me again, Hector. Uh, just thinking about you all the time. Uh, when I'm walking around down the street, you're all I can think about. You're my dream. You're my passion. You're my obsession. Uh, the thought of you is a fixed idea in my head. It's like a it's like a melody that just won't go away. Like it's like when you have a tune stuck in your head. That's that's you. In fact, there is a tune. Whenever I think of you or I see you, I hear this melody in my head. That's how beautiful you are, and that's how powerful my love for you is. I wish we could dance to this melody. If we were at a ball or a, some kind of a formal dance, even if even if you didn't actually talk to me, if I just saw you across the room and I heard this music, I would be completely fulfilled. And I could maybe get up the courage to come up and talk to you, but just the idea of seeing you in a social setting off of that stage would be enough for me. The day after a ball like that, I, I think I would just be ecstatic. I'd be over the moon just to have seen you. Going out, taking in the air the way I always do, sitting in the hills, listening to the shepherds call back and forth. It's one of my favorite things to do is listen to these shepherds. <clears throat> Watching the storm roll in and thinking of how wonderful our life together would be. As long as that, you know, as long as you don't cheat on me or anything, that would, that would be weird. You wouldn't do that though, you know, you're, you're a nice girl, you're not, um, you're not unfaithful. You're a, you're a very, very lovely, beautiful girl. I mean, a lot of guys are, are after you, I'm sure. So I'm sure that you, but you wouldn't be unfaithful. I mean, our love is, it's, it, our love is strong. You wouldn't be unfaithful. We would be, we would be great. I mean, of course, if you were unfaithful to me, <laughs> that, would, that would just be ridiculous if you cheated on me. I would, uh, I wouldn't handle that too well. Uh, in fact, uh, if you were to cheat on me, I would have to defend my, my honor. I would, I would murder you. I would definitely murder you if you cheated on me, Harriet. <laughs> Um, uh, it, it wouldn't be pretty, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't make it like look like a suicide or something like that. I wouldn't make it look like an accident. Like, I would brutally murder you <laughs> to the point, to the point where, where, like, the police aren't going to throw me in jail. They're not going to ex- no, they're going to execute me <laughs> in public, in the center of Paris. They're going to march me up to the scaffolds. They're going to lay me down, hold my head down. I imagine my final thought would be of you, my love. And then they're going to cut my head off, it's going to roll down the steps, the crowd is going to cheer, my spirit will fly away from the, from the scaffold and join my own funeral, where the, the demons of hell and the witches and all the most unsavory creatures of the underworld will gather to celebrate my death. And you know who else is there, my love? You are. You know why? You're in hell. You're a tramp. You cheated on me. I told you. told you I'd kill you if you cheated on me. But you did it anyway. And now you're in hell. And there's all, every creature from hell, the demons, Satan, there, there's skeletons, there's ghosts, there's witches, and they're all celebrating my demise. But you, my love, you're the guest of honor. You're a witch too. And you're dancing in a burlesque parody of a... Of, a, of an ancient Dies Irae around the funeral pyre. Everybody is just so happy to see you. There's a shout, a roar of excitement as you arrive because not only are you the guest of honor, but you're the entertainment, my love. A diabolical blood orgy where we're just going. To... <laughs> it's getting late, my love. I need to wrap this up, but um, I hope to see you at that ball tomorrow that we were talking about, uh, and I hope this letter finds you well. I love you, Hector. Okay, that's pretty much the letter that he wrote with the symphony. That's pretty much exactly what he did. Um, now I have your attention. <laughs>